Okay, so in this video, we are going to do definition of the directional derivative in a particular case, a function of two variables at a point. The general case is pretty similar. So, the function f of variables x and y, x not y not is a point in the domain. That's the point at which we'll be trying to calculate the derivative. And we have a unit vector uv. So, what does this mean? It just means it's a pair of numbers here, and the sum of the squares is 1. That's where the word unit vector comes in. Okay? Right. And now, I want to define the directional derivative of f in the direction of the vector uv at the point x0 minus. It's usually denoted like this, with a d. Sometimes it's also denoted with this symbol called nabla. Now, that's used in a slightly different context as well. So, Okay? How is this directional derivative defined? What do you think it should be? If you're trying to define it as a limit. Hmm. Limit is hmm. as uh, that will be the difference quotient of. Uh, okay, so you put an h downstairs. Mm -hmm. And you know you have minus f of x naught y naught here. What what should be Come here. Should f x plus h plus what? Well, you're going in the direction of u v. So what should you add here? Plus u. Plus what? U. U squared. No, u times h. Why? Well, you're saying you move a distance of h in the direction oh, of right, u v. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay, so it's it's the function value if you move slightly in by a magnitude of h in the direction of uv minus v. And the unit vector is really just to capture that 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 when that this when you add this much, you're basically moving a distance of h. Okay. You can in in some sense you can define this notion even when the input is not a unit vector. It's just not something people would usually call a directional derivative. Directional usually means you're using unit vectors. Okay? So that's the definition. Now you can also define it if you want, like this. So you can define it as, it's another definition. I mean, it's the same thing. f of x naught plus uh, y naught plus vh at the point. So what's this doing? It's saying, you're considering the function, instead of considering the original function f, you're considering the, uh, the, the restriction of the function to the line. So, let's make a picture. A thousand words. Pictures worth a thousand words. So, here's a picture. So, here's the point x0, y0. And let's say the vector uv is pointing like that. Okay? So, the line, the line along which you are interested in is this line. Okay? Maybe I'll just make it thick. So this is the point, and this is the unit vector. Okay? Now what we are interested in is, if you move slightly along this line, how does the function value change relative to the amount you moved? Right? That's what this is doing. What this is doing is, what this alternative of thinking of it is doing is, this thing, is that you, 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 instead of thinking of the original function f, you think of this new function, which is just a function of one variable, h, because all x0, u, y0, and v are all fixed, so it's just a function of one variable, and it sends h to this number. So given any h, it first locates the point, and then sends it to that, and the derivative of that at h equals 0. Do you see why this is the same as this? So, if you just take this derivative and you use the limit, the difference quotient meaning, what would it tell you? It would tell you this thing minus the value, minus the same thing at h equals 0. So, it would tell you this minus this. Because this is what you get when you plug in h equals 0, right, over h. So, that, that's how it's coming. Okay. Now, I want to say a couple of small things which, which should actually come up in more detail later. Uh, the first is that the f sub x is just 
the directional derivative in the direction of which what vector? What vector should you put here? Hmm? U. Zero. So what will u be and what will v be? What will the coordinates be here? So that it's just the partial derivative in the x direction. No. What's the unit vector in the x direction? Hmm? Uh, the unit vector in the x direction. Positive x direction, yeah, what's that? I. Yeah, but what is it in terms of its coordinates? What's u and what's v? What's I, the x coordinate? I don't care what you're asking. So as a vector, yeah. it, you should give some numerical values here. Mm -hmm. What will those values be? So the x coordinate will be 1 and the y coordinate will be 0. That's what I'm saying. That's why you're asking. Yeah. So that's the vector. That's the that's the unit vector in the x direction. Okay. Right? Okay. And so f sub x is just d of 1d. And and as you said, you can call it i. That that's like one of the ways we often denote the unit vector in the x direction. Okay. I, but right now I was interested in what its coordinates are. Okay. Right? So x coordinate is 1 and the y coordinate is 0. What about f sub y? What directional derivative is that? Zero, 01. Zero, 01. Okay. 